anywhere there's a chalk line, you're gonna get really close, but we're gonna leave a little bit of black where the chalk line is, okay? Um, outside chalk lines go on. Inside chalk lines leave a little bit of black. When you come near the um, chalk lines, like in the fender and things like that, you're gonna lift off your pressure, okay? And that way, when you build this up, this will naturally like this darkness come through on here and that's going to make your painting look more three-dimensional if this was all one shade say it was all this shade it would look completely flat but since we have these highlights and then it goes to dark down here it looks three-dimensional um things that are lighter look like the lights hitting off of them or they're looking like they're coming towards you a little bit more okay so we're gonna uh work on this truck just a little bit or not, not just a little bit, we're gonna use a little bit of paint. It's five o'clock in the morning, by the way. <laughs> I had to get up and paint. So I'm gonna get a little bit of orange and I'm gonna put white in it, okay? Don't use a lot of paint. We're gonna dry brush mainly, okay? So remember, we're gonna go right on the chalk line on the outside and we're gonna build this up. We need a little bit of white to start. We'll bring in a little bit of just orange after we get this first coat on. It's going to be patchy, okay? So don't worry. Remember about trusting the process, right? Trust the process. I'm going to grab a little bit more orange. I'm going to go right around this corner and pull this through, okay? I'm going to come down through here. Sometimes we don't use the skinny part of the brush, but if you can fit the wide part, then you do. There's one piece that's too skinny to like draw in right here. You're just gonna leave, you're gonna have a little bit of a line just like that, okay? Orange, touch of white. I'm um, also, we need one more line right here and the rest remains as the um, windshield. I'll pull this down just like that, okay? Maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna make it go over just a little bit further. So the first coat, you know, um, I go right across here. The first coat is going to be flat. It's when you build it up afterwards, okay? And we'll be pulling in some yellow with this, just a touch here and there as well, okay? So I'm gonna go right on the hood. I'm gonna pull it over and then down. I'm gonna take off our pressure as we come to this chalk line right here, okay? Get really close to it. I'm gonna go right here, pull across, and I'm gonna lift off right before the door handle. There's a lot of drawing in this for our ladies, so I really appreciate all of our hard work with all the drawing in this one. A lot, a lot. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of yellow in this towards the top. It's a little, and I'm going to go right under this chalk line, apply pressure. So I generally make a better line if I turn my canvas sideways. I'm trying not to do that to you right now. Um, then I'm going to take my wide part of my brush. Remember, this is gonna look really patchy. You're gonna be like, oh, it doesn't look good. Just wait, it'll come. So I'm gonna go back and forth, I'm gonna lift off. I'm not gonna come down until I have less paint. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit more paint. Let's get a little orange and yellow again. I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna lift off as I'm coming to the fender. Let me go up front here. Make sure you can see this, yeah. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna pull. And then I'm not gonna come down towards the fender until I have a little bit of paint because I want that to be a little darker, okay? I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna lift off as I come over towards this fender. Long strokes, not a lot of paint, okay? And I feel like I can add some, let me add some of this orange and yellow up here. See how much brighter it gets on the second coat? I feel like I add too much white in that. I just want that to dry a little bit with the darker color, with the orange on there. So let's do orange and yellow a little bit here again. I'm gonna start in the middle of the door again and I'm gonna lift off as I'm coming over to this dark line. Don't use a lot of paint over here. Wait until you just have a little bit. I love building up trucks. We have 
a lot of tracks. This is our first orange track, but I love building up tracks. Tiny bit of white, not as much as I did the first time. Okay, so now I'm gonna start right under the chalk line on the fender. And my dog's next to me dreaming. I might have to tap him. <laughs> I said to him right before I started filming, he probably thinks, like, you probably think I'm crazy. I'm like, could you, like, nap outside the door? Because <laughs> I knew, because they were up really early today. They would be tired. I'm getting old. So I'm just following my stroke, okay? I'm following around the fender, following my stroke. As I'm coming down towards the tire, I'm lifting off my stroke a little bit, okay? Right here. I'm moving back. Touch of white. Okay. And then right here, we can go straight up and down. Pull that across. Slow and steady, light touch, don't press hard. Okay. I need to get in this section here as well. So you can use the thin part of the brush, leave the chalk line. All right, just leave the chalk line. And then I'm gonna scuff a little bit down here. Okay. I'm actually going to turn my canvas just because it's a little bit easier for me. And so first I'm gonna go right on the top Slow and steady, drag your hand if you need to. Apply pressure when you're making a line, okay? Take your pressure off as you're coming down to the chalk line also. All right. I'm gonna go across here too. Start with your paint right up here. Apply pressure again. Leave the chalk line. You'll see how it all comes together. I come down here. When you're dry brushing, even when you have to make a line like down, you still want to then, um, and it's with any time you're painting, pull it back across again. So your strokes, you know, are still going left to right, right to left, okay? I want to leave some darkness around there, so I don't want that to get too bright. Right. I like to use my wide part of the brush where I can. Okay. I'm going to lift off coming up towards this fender. off. We even have a banner for it. I'm going to burn it into your head because <laughs> when you lift off, it feathers off. If you have a blunt stop, you're going to see a line there. So you definitely want to lift off your pressure, okay? Oh, you know what I just realized too? First of all, this is a bumper, okay, here. And um, I didn't put this little front, like this is the part of the headlight. So you wanna put that in and pull down. I wanna make sure that was in there as well. So this part is the bumper, but in the other one, no, it isn't. This is the bumper underneath it, I'm losing my mind. Okay, that's what I was looking at. That's why I was silent for a moment. So I'm pull this across, okay. And then let's get in a coat on our fender, all right. So you're gonna go right, you're gonna apply pressure at the top. And then you're gonna take a wide part of the brush, you're gonna follow your shape. 
be like kind of like a windshield wiper. Okay. I have a little too much paint on my brush, so I'm going to point this down. We teach the trick-or-treaters um, that painting in um, class today. I have to have a painting class every single day, I think, except for one and two weeks. <laughs> Let me get right in there. Okay. We're gonna let that dry for a moment, all right? Just let it dry, your first coat, okay? And so at this point, we can get our flat brush and we can put another coat on the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my orange, maybe a touch of yellow in there, and then a touch of white towards the top, tap it off. Remember, don't ever go straight to the canvas with just the white, okay? without tapping it off. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna start on the top. I'm gonna take my pressure off as I go down, okay? We can add more white to it. The white didn't stick there. I tapped too much off, but we're gonna come up and brighten white alone at the end, but I'm still gonna go back and add some, okay? And then I need to get in my little metal area right here, okay? And I need to get in this little area right here and brighten that. I'm going to widen that just a little bit. And I'm going to come down here. Okay. Orange, yellow, touch of white. I'm going to bring this right down, straight down through here. Okay. Now on the top of the hood, we're going to start brightening this. So we have like this area. Sorry for the dog snoring. I don't even know what to do about that anymore. I've been saying that recently since he's been getting older. Okay, a little bit. So then I'm going to pull my brightness over here to this tarp, top part of the door. I'm going to lift off as I come down, okay? So. This is where your truck's going to start becoming more three-dimensional, all right? So I'm going to get my, my orange, yellow, and white, and I'm going to start brightening like up here towards the top. So the pressure starts here, okay? And then I'm going to pull this down right around this area, and then I'm going to make my long strokes, and I'm going to blend this out. Okay, I'm gonna take my pressure off as I'm coming down towards my fender. So this is important. So you don't have, <laughs> I was gonna say, so you don't have bright paint right there, as I just did. You can always wipe it off with your paint towel or your fingers, no big deal. So I'm gonna pull this down across here. All right, and I'm gonna continue this brightness right at the top of the door because the light would be hitting at the top more. And then as I come down, use the wide part of my brush. We'll still have to come back and brighten this a few times. So this takes a little bit of time to build up, especially because it's orange on black. Okay, so I'm lifting off as I come down. I'm gonna lift off as I'm coming to this fender. Okay, lift off, lift off. So it leaves some of that darkness in there, right? Pull it back here. Lift off, but leave some of that darkness on that back side, all right? So you can start pressing harder when you realize how much, you know, paint is on your brush, like when you know it's like just about empty, all right? So now we're going to make it a little bit brighter towards the top again, okay? I'm going to take off our pressure as we go down, all right? Get more paint. Then always start up here first. Don't go down until you know that there's less paint, okay? I'm gonna pull this around. Okay. And this is where I love to see this, like on the bottom side of the fender, it's going to start looking darker, you know, like it goes in. Anything that's darker looks like it's further back. 
you know, we're going to lift off as we come down here. It'd be more shadowed. Don't forget that front piece, you know, right here. So it's going to be brighter on the top and you can just pull it down this way and lift off. I feel like I need a little bit of white there. So I'm going to go here, pull down, lift off. Okay. So I'm going to bring up my easel. All right. And you only have to go back and touch this up a little bit. It doesn't take as much time. Each time you go back on it, it's going to be less, you know, that you have to do. So I'm going to go a little further towards the top. Next time we come through here, we'll be brightening this with more white. Okay. And then we're going to, I'm just going to go here. I'll get those other pieces in a minute. And then this is where you're going to have to take off your pressure as you come down. Don't start down here again, okay? And you're going to lift off as you're coming towards the fender. Okay, here. And I do have to get into these, you know, little pieces right here. And if you go over chalk line, it's okay. We're going to use our script liner to go back through and separate things. So it's an easy fix. So don't worry, okay? Like, don't stress about that right now at all. All right, because it's easily fixable. So that's why like, I, I go through sort of quickly on things because I know that it's fixable. I don't have to worry about it. A little bit more orange there. Lift off towards the fender. You can be a dry, ma a dry brushing master after this. Tell you, I love fall. I was just posting um, this morning uh, pumpkins for our pottery pumpkins class. And they come out so amazing every year. Chrissy is such an incredible instructor with that. Everyone's always so happy with their pumpkins. They were first class coming up with that. Around. Lift off as you come to the bottom again. Feel like I need a little bit more yellow in my orange right there, maybe a touch of white. I feel like it's missing the brightness like up here at the top. So I'm going to go back again. I think the yellow really adds to that. So I feel like I was missing that. And I feel like I'm missing it here. So I'm going to add a little bit more color right here. And then we'll start back at the beginning and we'll... We'll go one more round, okay? <laughs> we'll add some white highlights. It takes a little bit to build this up, you know? So I want to make sure it's really three-dimensional um, and that you love it. So I'm just going to go back through, and I'm just going to lightly touch some color in here. And then we will, where I think it needs brightened. And then we're going to go and we're going to add white, okay? So you never need as much, you know, as your you're layering it up like you don't need to touch everything so it's a little quicker you go where it's brighter where the light's hitting and then add a little bit of paint and then you lift off as you come down okay and it really starts coming together it really looks three-dimensional i had um i don't know if you saw in the beginning when i first made this i had a big spider web on the front of the truck and i posted it and then within minutes, I was like, oh, it covers up that orange part of the truck. And I just, I love the truck being, you know, it, it like pulled away from seeing all these, you know, beautiful like oranges with the yellows and the whites here. So I blacked out the whole front of the truck and reposted it within like, I don't know, five minutes or so. 
I was like, maybe 10 minutes. I was a crazy person. They were like, where'd the spider web go? I don't know if you guys remember that, if you're in the membership. So I'm a little bit brighter up there. So a little bit more white in my paint here. And then I'm gonna come back and add just white too, but right now I'm building this up a little. I'm going to go on the top right here again. I'm also gonna go up here. I feel like this needs a little bit more yellow. See how it's all coming to life? Okay, and then I'm gonna come back here again. So I feel like I need a little bit right here on the front side and I need to straighten that out a little too. Okay, so I have that. I'm gonna take my pressure off as so I go back. I'm gonna get in this little section and brighten right in through here as well. I feel like I need to get right in that crack a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it one more time, get the top and run the fender. We're almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I need a little bit more color up on here. And then I need to pull some across here. I don't know if you notice, I'm not using the tip of my brush. I'm using like the back side a little bit, okay? Let's get some down the back of the truck. A little bit right here. And then we'll touch the fender. Okay, so let's get some brightness at the top here. Lift off as you're coming to the underside. And I feel like we can use a little bit more yellow with that orange up there. And now if you keep going over an area and it starts like staying black, like it's pulling the paint, you have to let it dry or you have to blow dry it, one or the other. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get some white. I'm going to flatten it out. I'm going to get a little bit of white and I'm going to go to the top of the truck. Okay. So I'm gonna start adding some highlights. So my angle's better this way, straight up and down. So I'm gonna get a little bit of white and I'll pull this down, okay? And then I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna run it right across the hood also, okay? So I want a little bit of brightness right up here. Oh my gosh, the snoring. I'm sorry. And if I put him in another room, he'll like make a ruckus to be next to me. Okay, a little bit of white. You don't want it like a bright, like bright, bright white line, but you do need a little bit of a highlight there. And also like on the front, just a little bit. I feel like we can put a little right here as well. Bring this around. Okay, a little bit brighter there. I'm also going to go right across here. Right across there. Take my pressure off as I come down. If you get any like harsh marks, just rub it with your finger. If you feel like, you know, it's getting too bright, you can always dull it down. It's like it looks like it's dented there. So I was just building that up a little. I feel like we can get a little bit of, tiny bit of color right there. All right, so I'm gonna move this up. I really don't, I want that little scuff right there. So I'm gonna rub that with my finger. All right, so let's go in the back. Well, actually, we need a little bit of a line here. It's kind of awkward, so I'm going to have to turn it back. Okay, we need a little bit of brightness here. Need a little bit of brightness here. Okay, so we have to get some of those edges. Want a little bit of brightness, like on this back side right here as well. Okay, it's a tiny bit. If if like this, I feel like. It needed to be a little bit drier to get that 
white on there. Okay. And then we're going to do the back end. Okay. So I want to go, the light's going to definitely be hitting the top of the bed of the truck, slow and steady, right across the top. So then also, um, uh, I really don't, I don't want anything too bright right there. So I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to go at the top of the fender, a little bit of brightness there. 